Good morning. Hi. It's Friday. So how y'all doing? This is Goddess Raven, and this is the Goddess Raven Show, and this is going to be a very short little clip for Friday morning. <laughs> it's just something that made me go, hmm, and made me take a sip. Why is it R. Kelly is more accepted and his music is still played and people like Drake are still working with R. Kelly because he's credited on his um, new album that he has out. Oh, yes, indeed. Certified Lover Boy. There is a credit on there from R. Kelly on one of the tracks. But Michael Jackson is his songs are not played on certain um, radio stations anymore. His songs has been taken down. It's not streamed on certain sites. Why is that? When this man has gone to court, not once, but twice, and the second time literally took all of his energy out of him, drained him, got him, made him over, overly stressed, caused him insomnia, and he was proven innocent twice. R. Kelly, on the other hand, back in the day, did a damn X tape with a minor banging her out and water sporting on her. He then also married a underage singer, and allegedly now it's come out that he has got he had gotten her pregnant. He clearly was controlling two young ladies, keeping them allegedly away from their family. He has an STD allegedly that has spread it around. He allegedly is now um, also not only messing with underage girls, but underage boys as well. He is still more accepted than Michael Jackson. And Michael was proven innocent. This R. Kelly's sitting in jail, y'all. Help me. Come on, help me figure this out, y'all. What are we doing? We crucify a man because of his looks. And we allowed this man to be crucified based on his looks. And obviously he had Villagro, that, that disease that causes his skin to lose pigment. Okay? He ended up on medication because of, you know, that burn that he suffered during a Pepsi commercial that he, or, that he was doing. Um, he dealt with years of pressure and being in the media and the name calling, the wacko jack, all this other stuff. But this is, but R. Kelly skated through. He was a Pied Piper. Why was one who clearly went through the court system twice and was proven innocent, crucified more than the other who was clearly had evidence of being a pedo for years. Why was he allowed to skate? You know why? This is what I really, this is my little theory, okay? Because we're going to do a little conspiracy Friday mornings, okay? I feel like the reason why he potentially got away with this is, one, R. Kelly could not, is not in control of his own catalog, really. He doesn't have any clue about a bank account. He's not really in control of anything he does except for his music and the women and these underage girls and, and these um, alleged things that he's doing, these disgusting things that he's doing. That's the only thing he has a control of. Everything else is he, he's illiterate, allegedly, can't read, really. Can't doesn't know a clue about opening up a own bank account, checking book. Does not uh, like check his own checking and checking book. <laughs> like he is literally doesn't. I don't even think he owns all his catalog. Like seriously, but Michael Jackson is clearly was the bigger threat, even though he had proven his innocence twice. And you you know what? I honestly believe that that was purposely done by the industry, y'all. 
because this man was too, he was a smart, a very smart black man. Let's not get this twisted. Michael was a smart African-American black man who owned the Beatles catalog, that owned Eminem's catalog, okay? They, they, they want to make it seem like this man was broken, blah, blah, blah. How was he broken in, in, in 2007? He, he owned Eminem's catalog. He wasn't broke. He bought that. And then just two years later, he's broke. That man wasn't broke. He, he had funds. It might have been tied up in catalogs and tied up in other areas, but that man had funds. He was not a broke man. He did not die broke. But he did die a major enemy of the, the machine. Yeah, he was. He was clearly the enemy of the machine because he owned all his catalog. He was preaching about owning your own catalog. He was preaching about Sony was evil. He was preaching about who was evil in the industry. He was exposing people in the industry. And one thing the industry does not like is to be exposed. They don't want you exposing and owning all your catalog. Because as we can clear, you know, clearly see, what happened to Sam Cook? I wait. Okay. I wait. What happened to Sam Cook, y'all? Hmm. Okay, he owned all his catalog, right? Um, he owned all of his catalog, and what happened to him? He owned his own. Uh, he he did his own label, also, right? What happened? Who owns it now? Who has owned it since? The thing, I think that the biggest threat in America, I, think, I feel like, is a black man owning his catalog, or a black woman owning her catalog, or a black woman starting their own record company, or anything that is empowerment and can cause generational wealth and growth is a threat. And they will cast you as the demon of a potential R, all the negative things that they could put on your head, like they did Sam Cooke, they did to Michael Jackson, but they did not do that to R. Kelly. Why? Because he wasn't deemed as a threat. He didn't own Ish. He didn't own Ish. And he was a pedo. Some in the industry don't care about that. They don't care. Because some of them probably is doing that too. So they don't care. But I'm just saying. You got to see with a clear eye what's going on here. Do y'all agree or disagree with me? Hmm? Because I'm telling you, it looks really, when you think about it, funky. And I know people are always quick to go, and say, well, if we, if we gonna throw out our Kelly, then we, we gotta tear down Elvis Presley. Baby, we, what the hell Elvis Presley got to do with the black community? Besides the fact that he stole all the boobs and, and, and vibe and, and stuff from black folks. Besides all of that, what do you have to do with our community? I hate that people like always want to try and deflect. Let's not deflect from the issue. The issues is we crucified one man based on his skin tone and his behavior. But this man went to court twice and was proven innocent twice in the court of law. Our colleague goes to court. He's proven guilty. His ass is in jail. His ass is getting his ass whooped in jail for his actions. And more and more details are coming out of his pedal behavior. But people still want to justify the reason for them listening to this music and co-signing his behavior. And this is clearly why the industry is still has no problem working with this man. Drake worked with them on his certified lover boy album. So y'all. Help it make sense.
what are we allowing in the community, man? What what are we doing? We I think as time goes by, we have become so numbed and jaded and so tolerant that anything goes. Like we don't care that our kids are like people, some people's kids out here getting violated by grown men and given diseases, that there's a uh, pedo um pushing music. We, we are quick to play that person's music, knowing for well that it's been documented this man has gone after minors, minors, children, babies. What are we doing? See, this is why the brother plights and the, the, the R. Kelly's and the, all of these dudes are allowed to keep slipping through the crack, you no know, nature boys, all of these people, oh, all these problematic men. Now it was, it's time to, it's, it's time to remove them from our society, remove them from our community. We, stop supporting this shish. Stop supporting the destruction of underage children's minds and bodies. We got to get back to our morals. We got to get back to a moral code of some type. We got to go back to the fact that things should not be tolerated. We're supposed to be protecting our youth, protecting our children, protecting each other. And instead, we are a society that's destroying each other. Just my opinion, y'all. Just my opinion. Okay. And this is the opinion of the Goddess Raven show. That's all. Y'all, give me your opinion and let me know what y'all think. I, I know. Bye.